Honey has widely been known to have many health benefits, thanks to its richness in antioxidants and antibacterial properties. But there is one type of honey found tucked away deep in the eastern mountains of Nepal that is said to have a surprisingly unique effect on humans. It makes them hallucinate. And as you hopefully saw in this week's Yes Theory episode, we traveled to an extremely remote indigenous village in Nepal where this magical honey exists and joined them in their annual honey hunt. After taking part in their sacred honey harvesting ceremony, we hiked up the treacherous mountain with the only honey hunter left in the village, which is a skill passed down through generations. We then watched as he climbed up a thin handmade bamboo ladder up a huge cliffside to where the honeycombs are harvested. The members of the honey hunt back at the village then invited us to try some of the infamous honey. And although we do not condone the consumption of these hazardous substances, we survived the journey all the way here and figured we might as well give the honey a try. Feel like a pirate's den, doesn't it? Well, Hopefully, we take enough to heal, not enough to kill us. There's a fine line between it healing you and it killing you. Do you think your dad would be proud of us? <laughs> As a doctor, I'd know he'd say this is good. <laughs> it's for medicine. Are we gonna vomit? If you like do too much, then yeah, we're gonna puke. Yeah. And then we're gonna sit your pants as well, so yeah. Two guys, this is gonna be a vomit. They vomit. All night. Yeah. Those guys had three teaspoons that so they threw up all night. Yeah. All right, Corey, do you want to try three teaspoons? Uh, <laughs> why? How could that possibly why? be medicinal? Listen, I'm no doctor, <laughs> so I could be wrong on this. <laughs> but this doesn't feel safe. Should we do this? I'm okay with a small I don't want to throw up all night. Yeah, yeah I mean, just tell, just tell him, give me something that won't make me do uh, it. This more than no. So why does anyone do it? It helps like cleans your intestines and stuff. It also like revitalizes your body if you like consume like one teaspoon per day. So one yeah. teaspoon. Per, d d does he do that or no? Do you have any more? No, I don't. No, I used to. So the first time I ate, I hug, ne, mut, ne, chat, ne. I don't like this actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't like this. We're about to die. Only, if you eat uh, too much, it makes sense. You cannot move anywhere. You can't move? Your body like becomes like, immobile like, or something. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. Smells risky. Also, it tells you with erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what he says. Yes. Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said that in secret. Okay, we won't mention it. We'll, I'll cut it out of the video. Yeah. In this bucket. I'm just gonna do one. It feels like extremely dangerous. I am the closest. Those are the rules. <laughs> Seems like a lot. It's really sweet. What does it taste like? It tastes like honey. <laughs> but we'll see how that tastes in a few hours. <laughs> Can we do a little bit less of that? No, no, no. That's, no, that's how it seems like a lot. What is this going to do to me? It tastes different. It's honey, but it's, it's a little spicy, a little stingy. It's also a little flowery. It's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, 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 pretty tasty. <laughs> How long is it going to take for us to feel something? Uh, half an hour, 45 minutes. <laughs> so this this much, like people use this for hallucinogenic purposes, right? Yeah. Like trips and things like that. Is that a, a, a big enough dose of us to experience that? Wait. <laughs> you said that wouldn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I guess <laughs> we're in this ride now. So the normally symptoms like body ache. Body ache. Mm. Dude. You didn't mention this at all before. <laughs> body aches, huh? That wasn't on the original list of <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> we had a full debrief before we did this. <laughs> Not one of these things was mentioned. <laughs> I thought the f***ing die out here. Your face is like turned all red then. Well, I'm just uh, contemplating this decision that we just made. <laughs> we'll see. Do not advise anyone to partake in any of this. Whatsoever. <laughs> Can we uh, check back in in half an hour, 45 minutes? See you then. <laughs> um, anyone feel anything? I don't think so. I don't you think so. How long has it been? I don't know. 
<laughs> no on my phone. What time did we take it? <coughs> no way checked, did they? No way checked. Uh, Probably like 6.20. <laughs> Are you okay? Do I look weird? How you doing, Corey? <coughs> We obviously ended up taking a very small amount in this video. Knowing how far away we were from any kind of medical assistance or help, we just were not ready to take that kind of a risk. We just took a small amount. We had a great night feeling a little bit loose and kind of giddy in a way, but uh, we really didn't get into this huge psychotic state and throwing up everywhere luckily and so there it is the end of our very unpredictable incredible and eye-opening experience in nepal this was one of the most immersive travel experiences that i've ever had i've never spent time in a village like this i just feel super grateful to be able to be the messenger to show you watching that this world truly is spectacular and when we dare to leave our bubble we are destined to find something extraordinary. What I want to do with Yes Theory at this point in my journey as a storyteller is to find the most unique people and places on the planet and highlight them through an experiential story. And I just hope that that is something that you enjoy watching. This channel on Seek Discomfort is going to be much more open for the personality based types of stories, but I recommend that you subscribe. You know, it's a good time here. I think you'll enjoy it. All right.